My name is Asad Liakut and I'm a Controls BMS engineer at Airdale International Air Conditioning. Yeah. I actually found the website on indeed.co.uk. Um, I found it there and I found out what they do and I realised this is a big company that I've got from like so I came down, went for the interview and it was with Paul Roper who's my manager right now. We went in and we had a we had a meeting with him, my other manager who's Alberto, and a woman from HR. Started talking, they seemed to like me. And then he caught me off guard at one point because Alberto asked me a question like, um, how would you calculate how much how much toilet rolls are used in a day in London? And it was, just, it was a bit off putting, but I answered the question. And then Paul took me on a tour of the factory. It was pretty good. It was amazing because I'd never seen anything like it. It was like walking into something like really industrial, like how a car manufacturer sort of might look. I don't know. But that's what it felt like. It was pretty good. Clean floors. Everyone's doing something different, very loud. And it was good. It was like just hearing machines crank and stuff. And it was like, all right, this is. This is good, I want to do this. So walking along then, I meet my mentor, who's Phil, who I work with. I got to meet him, sat with him. He just got out of a meeting, so he's doing something with some other guys. He comes over to me and he's like, oh, so you're the new guy, I've gone, well, not yet, it's not confirmed. So we sit down, we start talking. And bear in mind, this is still part, this is my interview. I'm not planning any of this, so I'm sitting down, I'll start with Phil. And he starts showing me some code and we start talking, we start having a chat, and then I meet Tom. Tom's also on my team. We start talking, he starts showing me things that they've done in Brighton and stuff. I start talking and at this moment in time, I turned around to look for Paul. Paul's gone, I don't know where he's gone, he's just disappeared. And for the next half an hour, I just sat talking with these two people. Paul comes around and he's like, you do know you've got to go, <laughs> I'm like, okay. And he's like, no, it's really good. And from that, I realized, I could see the smile on everyone's faces. Went down, went outside, he shook my hand, he's like, told you we'll be in touch. And then two days later, I get a call. I got the job, but it was really good. I mean, doing something you want to do, obviously, fair enough. But having the right environment is really impo important because you can't. I mean, you've got to have the right people around you. Otherwise, if you don't like the environment you're in, I don't think you're going to like what you do because you're going to be either depressed or annoyed about your situation. But I feel like. It's like a family sort of thing, my department, like, we can be loud, but it's like I run, it's like coming home, like in the morning, like, it's normal. <laughs>